Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to create Instagram Reels automatically in just minutes. So I am an owner of a business and I post content related to my business on my Instagram account to create more customers engagement. I post Instagram Reels. So creating these Reels manually and posting them on my Instagram manually takes me a lot of time. So what I did was I created an automation using Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software which requires no programming and coding skills in order to create an automation. So here in this automation what is going to happen that as soon as I'm going to enter the details of the reel in my Google Sheets, automatically with the help of the details, a reel is going to be generated using Creatomate. And as then the reel is going to be generated, it is going to be automatically posted on my Instagram account. And for that, we are going to be creating an automation between all of these applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to create Instagram reels automatically in just minutes. So I am an owner of a business and I regularly post content on my Instagram to create more customers engagement. Manually creating and posting reels can be time consuming especially when you need to maintain a consistent posting schedule. By automating the creation of Instagram reels with Pabli Connect, you can streamline your content creation process. This not only saves us time, but also ensures that our Instagram account remains active and engaging, helping us to attract more followers and potential customers. And we are going to be creating this amazing automation using Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. Month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Then Pabli Connect dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on the top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear which is asking for a workflow name and us to select a folder. So for the workflow name, I'm going to give a name to my workflow as how to create Instagram Reels automatically in just minutes. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. Next, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side, of my screen you can see I've created multiple folders in my public Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in for that click on this arrow so these are the folders from which I'm going to select Instagram Reels automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in after giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder let's click on create in order to create a workflow a workflow is created in the name of how to create Instagram Reels automatically in just minutes and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts over here. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, we need to set up our trigger step for that click on this arrow and for the trigger app application we are going to select it as Google Sheets. Why are we selecting a trigger applications as Google Sheets? So let us discuss about it. As with the help of Google Sheets, what I'm doing is I am creating a record of the details that I want to create a reel of in my Google Sheets like the captions. This is the caption that I want to post on my Instagram account. And for the text, the text is the body text on which I want my reels to be created. Okay. And for creating the reels, we are going to be using Creatomate. Creatomate is a user-friendly application designed to make creating and editing videos simple and efficient. It offers variety of pre-made templates and tools that helps users to produce professional quality videos without needing advanced technical skills. So we are going to be using Creatomate to create our Instagram Reels. So with the help of Creatomate, I've already created a template in the name of Instagram Reel template. And I'm going to be using this template to create multiple Reels according to my requirement. So in the template, I've also created multiple variables. You can see this is the variable one I'm going to show you. 
firstly i'm going to show you the reel so this is the reel that i've created this is a template i've created you can see right over here okay in this template you can see there are multiple this is the variable that i've added that is if you're looking for a scheduled and peaceful retreat this cabin in the woods is perfect choice so this is the variable right over here you can see you have variable like the photo this photo is the variable this another photo is the variable the name is the variable right over here as well as this text is the variable right over here as well this is the text this is the variable okay and i want that every time i'm going to add new text in the spreadsheet right over here these texts that i'm going to enter should be replaced with this variable right over here this is the variable this is the review text variable you can see should be replaced in place of this text right over here okay so that is why i've created a record of all the text that i want to enter in my reels in my spreadsheet with the captions that i want to post on my instagram okay and after the reel is going to be created i also want to update this spreadsheet with the created reel url as the reel is going to be created i want to update the spreadsheet with the url of that video okay so we are going to be using creato made to create our reels and post it on our instagram okay so what we are going to do is we are going to set up our trigger step for the trigger event i am going to select it as new or updated spreadsheet row this means that whenever i'm going to enter the data of the captions as well as the text in the spreadsheet automatically and instantly pabli connect should capture the response of the data that we have ad added in our spreadsheet okay then to connect google sheets with pabli connect you can see that pabli connect has provided us with a web hook url this is a unique web hook url and by following the steps given here below we can connect google sheets and pabli connect so i'm going to first copy this url from here after copying the url i'm going to open my spreadsheet that i've created and now we are going to connect this spreadsheet to pabli connect and for doing that from these options you have to click on this extensions button as we're going to click on extensions from the options you have to click on add-ons and then on get add-ons a new dialog box is then going to appear on which on the search bar we have to search for pabli connect web books we're going to select pabli connect web books you can see that i've already installed pabli connect web books so i'm going to move forward pabli connect web books is going to allow us to connect google sheets and pabli connect and send data to pabli connect okay so please do not forget to download pabli connect web books okay i'm going to go back as i've already installed it i'm going to now refresh this page after installing pabli connect web books after that i'm going to go back to extensions again and now you can see over here it is going to say pabli connect web books we're going to click on it okay there are multiple options under pabli connect web books from which we are going to click on initial setup then the initial setup dialog box is going to appear in front of you which is asking for the web book url in the trigger column for the web book url i'm going to paste the web book url that pabli connect has provided us and for the trigger column it says the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added so in this spreadsheet the trigger column is going to be column b because i want that whenever i'm going to enter the details of the text in this column right over here automatically pabli connect should capture the response because the final data column is going to be added in this column so where for the trigger column i'm going to write it as column b and then i'm going to click on the submit button as i'm going to do that it says setup configured successfully so i'm going to go back so now the steps that i'm going to tell you are very important so please do not forget to follow them click on extensions again and pabli connect web books you can see now from these options we have to click on the send on event option as over here it is saying working as now the loading is completed i'm going to click on extensions and pabli connect web books again you can see a tick mark is in front of send on event it is very important to click on send on event because whenever we are going to enter the data of the caption on the text in the spreadsheet automatically google sheet is going to send that data to pabli connect that is why it is very important to click on send on event okay so after setting up the web book inside the spreadsheet i'm going to go back to my workflow as now over here it is saying waiting for web book response so now what we are going to do is we are going to enter the details of the caption of the text in the spreadsheet and we're going to check whether pabli connect captures the response or not so i'm going to enter the details of the caption and the text right over here as you can see that this is the caption on the text that i have written in this spreadsheet for the caption i've written it as happy guest happy stays okay so this is the caption that i've written and for the text i've written it as explore the beautiful surrounding of our newest listings perfect for nature lovers and adventure seekers so this is the caption and the text that i've written right over here okay so this is the caption and text that i want to write for my business if you want you can write your own caption and text right over here according to your requirement so now as we have entered the details of the caption and text in the spreadsheet i'm going to go back to my workflow i'm going to scroll down and yes you can see in our workflow response is successfully captured right over here in our trigger step for the text we have received the response of the text that we have mentioned in our google sheet that is explore the beautiful surrounding of 
of newest listings perfect for nature lovers and adventure seekers and for the caption the caption that we have mentioned in our google sheets that is happy guest happy stays okay so as now we have received the data of our instagram reel details in our trigger step this means that google sheets is now successfully connected with pabli connect so whenever we go to enter the data of the instagram reel details in the spreadsheet automatically pabli connect is going to capture the response okay so now as we have received the response of the caption and the text that we want to create a real instagram reel on what we are going to do is with the help of this text we are going to be creating a reel and how we are going to do that with the help of create or made so i'm going to set up my action step and for the action application i'm going to select it as create or made and for the action event over here there are three options given to us okay so firstly i have created a template over here in the name of instagram reel template okay and what we have to do is we have to edit this template in place of these variables and we are going to be creating reels our instagram reels with the help of this template right over here so for the action event over here from these options we are going to select it as get specific template as you want to get the details of this template that we have created using create or made so i'm going to select over here my action event as get specific template and then i'm going to click on connect to connect create or made and pabli connect a new event is going to appear on which click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection after that over here it is asking for the token with the help of this token we can connect create or made and pabli connect firstly i'm going to open my create or made account to have the access of the token i'm going to go back so this is the templates dashboard of my create or made account okay and i've created a template in the name of instagram reel template and i'm going to be using this template to create reels and post it on my instagram account okay firstly to connect create or made to pabli connect we need the api token for that you click on the three dots next to create or made right over here from these options you have to click on this project settings right over here okay as we go to do that you can see right over here we have received the project settings page and under this you can see where it says api key we are going to click on this click to reveal button right over here we're going to copy this api key from here and we're going to paste it in our public connect account right over here and then we're going to click on this save button as we're going to do that create or mate is now successfully connected to public connect so over here it is asking for the template id we are going to select the template id of which we need the specific details okay so i've created a template in the name of instagram reel template so for the template id i'm going to select over here as instagram reel template okay you need to select your own template id from here that you have created in your creatomate account okay and then we have to click on the save and send test request button right over here as we are going to do that we are going to receive a response in the response we are going to receive the details of the template that we have created using create or made right over the name of the template is instagram reel template created at created update the, the details of the template that we have created all the details you can see right over here the template that we have created these are the details we have the profile picture detail right over here the name detail right over here the review text this is the text that we have entered in our template you can see this is the same text that we have entered in our template i'm going to show you this is the text we have received the text right away in the response okay and all the other details so now as we have the template details with the help of create or made now what we are going to do is we are going to edit this template and create it as reel that we want to post on our instagram account and for that we're going to add another action step in this workflow and for the action application i'm going to select it as create or made again and for the action event i am going to now select it as create single render now we are going to render the reel that we are going to create with the help of create or made so i am going to select my action event as create single render and then we are going to click on connect right over here as we are going to do that a new dialog box is going to appear on which i am going to select the existing connection but if you want you can add a new connection and then i am going to click on the save button as i've done that now over here you can see create or made is successfully connected to public connect after connecting firstly over here it is asking for us to select the template with the help of which we are going to be creating instagram reels so i've created a template in the name of instagram reel template so i'm going to select that specific template right over here it is asking for all these details right over here which i'm going to skip because i do not require these fields but lastly we are going to use this field right over here that is modifications we have to provide the modifications that we are going to be doing in this template that we have created okay so to to provide modification is click on this hyperlink modifications right over here so this is the modifications part that you have to follow you have to follow the modifications object right over here okay 
and over here to enter the details of the modifications we have received an example how we are going to do that okay over here this is the example that is the key one and the value one right over here if you have to do the modification in this reel you have to follow the same pattern from the description of this help desk right over here it is asking for the key one this is the key value and this is the value of the key that we want to enter so for the key and the value what we are going to do is we are going to select the key right over here and then we have to select the value that we want to enter in place of that key okay so over here to have the access of the key we are going to be using the step that is get specific template as we have received the details of the template right over here i want to update the value of this variable this is the variable that i want to update the text right over here okay i want to update this value right over here and how we going to have the access of the key of this value for that we click on this use template button right over here and then you have to click on api integration so you're going to get this api integration part right over here and you're going to receive the key and the value right over here as you want to update this value you can see right over here so this is the key of this value so i'm going to copy this key from here and i'm going to paste the key right over here okay so this is the key that is the review text i want that in place of this review text i want to enter the text that i have written in my google sheets so for that what we are going to do is we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from the previous step of our workflow and how mapping works is that firstly i'm going to erase this value one part from here as i'm going to click on this field you can see these were the previous step of this workflow as over here we need the text that we have entered in our google sheet so in this google sheet step you can see that over here this is the text that i want to enter in place of this value the key right over here so i'm going to select this response from my previous step as i selected the data the data is mapped and as i map the data the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the data right over here in place of this map data is going to be updated as i map the data right away we have selected the modifications that i want to do in this template i am going to click on this save and send test request button and as i'm going to do that you can see right over here we have received the response and the response that we have received is a positive response because over here you can see we have received the url so this is the url of the reel that has been created with the help of creator meet so if i'm going to copy this url from here and i'm going to open this url in a new tab you can see that this is the same reel that has been created with the help of the text that we want to enter in the template that we have created using creator mate the text now says explore the beautiful surroundings of the newest listings perfect for nature lovers and adventure seekers so this is the reel that has now been created with the help of creator mate that we want to post on our instagram as a reel and the text that we have in this video right away is the text that we have entered in our google sheets right over here so this This means that the reel has now been successfully created with the help of Creator Mate. Okay, so now as the reel has been created, it takes time to render the reel that has been created with the help of Creator Mate. So approximately, it takes at least three to five minutes to render the reel that has been created. So what we are going to do is, as when we are going to run this workflow in real time, the reel that has been created with the help of Creator Mate may take time to be rendered. Okay, so it will not be posted on our Instagram. okay so what we are going to do is we are going to add a delay in this workflow right over here so that the reel can be perfectly rendered first and then we are going to publish that reel on our instagram as a content okay so for adding the delay we are going to add another action step in this workflow and for the action application we are going to select it as delay by pably and for the action event as add time delay and then we are going to click on connect how much time do you want to delay for we have to select the delay right away for the delay for delay unit we are going to select it as minutes and i am going to enter a delay of 5 minutes in this workflow so after 5 minutes the reel is going to be created with the help of creator meet it is going to be posted on our instagram account okay So I'm going to click on the save and send test request button to add a delay in this workflow. It says the status success and it says delay for five minutes. Now in this workflow, the delay has been added for five minutes. Okay. So as then the render is going to be completed with the help of Creator Mate, we want to post that reel on our Instagram account. So this is my Instagram account, and I want to post the reel in this account right over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to add another action step in this workflow, and for the action application, we are going to select it as. Instagram for business okay 
and for the action event i am going to select it as create a real video first we are going to create the real video and then we are going to publish on our instagram for business account then i am going to click on this connect button a new window is going to appear on which click on add to connection but if you want you can select the existing connection remember to log into your instagram account and your facebook account and beforehand before connecting pably connect an instagram for business click on connect with instagram for business as you can see that this is fully authorized instagram for business with pably connect over here it is asking for us to select the instagram account that we want to create a reel on so for the instagram account i am going to select my instagram account as jesse matthew right over here so you need to select the instagram account in which you want to create the reel okay next it is asking for the video url the video url is going to be the url that you want to post as a reel on your instagram account so for the video url i am going to map the data of the url that we have received in our creato mate account so this is the url that we have received i'm going to map the data of this url right over here okay next it is asking for the caption the caption of the media that we are going to post on our instagram account so the caption i'm going to map the data of the caption that we have received in our google sheet step as in the spreadsheet i've created the row for the captions so i'm going to map the data of the caption right over here okay next it is asking share to feed i'm going to select over here as true and then it is asking for the other details i'm going to skip the part as i don't require the field okay so as now we have successfully created the real details i'm going to click on this save and send test request button as we're going to do that we're going to receive an id this is the id of the reel that has been created on our instagram account now after creating the reel we want to publish this reel on our instagram for business account so i'm going to add another action step in this workflow and for the action application i'm going to select it as instagram for business again and for the action event now i'm going to select it as publish video now we want to publish the reel that we have created so i'm going to click on this connect button as i have the existing connection i'm going to select the option but if you want you can add a new connection so i'm going to click on this save button as i've done that firstly it is asking for the instagram account on which we want to publish the video on so i'm going to select the account and next it is asking for the photo/video id so for the video id i'm going to map the data of the id that we have received in this step right over this is the id of the reel that we have created so i'm going to map the data of this id right over here okay So I've mapped the data of the ID right over here, and after filling all the required details, I'm going to click on this Save and Send Test Request button. As we have done that, now you can see that we have received the response, and the response that we have received is a positive response. So if I'm going to take you back to my Instagram for Business account, we're going to check whether a new reel has been posted on my Instagram account or not. For that, I'm going to open my Instagram account. I'm going to refresh this page from here. As I refresh the page, you can see right over here a new reel has been added on my Instagram account. The caption of the reel is "Happy Guest Happy Stays," and for the reel it says "Explore the beauty surrounding of the newest listings, perfect for nature lovers and adventure seekers." So this is the reel that has now been posted on my Instagram account. You can see right over here, and we have created this reel with the help of Creator Made. Okay. So as we have successfully posted our reel on our Instagram account and as the reel has been posted I want to update the reel URL over here in my spreadsheet so what we are going to do is we're going to add another action step to this workflow and for the action application I'm going to select it as Google Sheets and for the action event I'm going to select over here as update row as now we want to update this row right over here and then I'm going to click on this connect button to connect google sheets with pably connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection after that click on sign in with google as we have done that a new window is going to appear which is asking for a permission so i'm going to click on allow as a safe process my data is perfectly safe with pably connect so i'm going to click on this allow button As you can see that we successfully authorized Google Sheets with Pably Connect. After authorizing, firstly it is asking for us to select a spreadsheet. For the spreadsheet, I'm going to select it as Instagram Reel Details as I want to update the row of the spreadsheet. So I'm going to select over here as Instagram Reel Details. Okay. Next, it is asking for us to select a sheet. So I've created a sheet in the name of Sheet One. So for the sheet over here, I'm going to select it as Sheet One. Okay. It is asking for the row index. For the row index, I'm going to map the data of the row index that we have received in our previous step. It is asking for the captions, text, and the created real URL. URL. So there are three fields that I've created. That is caption, text, and the created real URL. As I want to update this row right away, so what I'm going to do is for the data of the created real URL, I'm going to map the data of the video URL that we have received in our Creator Made step. So I map the data of this URL. Okay. After filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on this Save and Send Test Request button. 
as I've done that, we have received the response and the response that we have received is a positive response. So I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. And yes, you can see right over here, the URL, the video URL is now been updated in the spreadsheet right over here. And this is the URL of the video that we have created using Creator Made to post as a reel on our Instagram account. So this means that we fully created an automation between Google Sheets, Creator Made and Instagram with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done. I am an owner of a business and I regularly post content on my Instagram account to create customers engagement and the content that I post is related to my business. Manually creating and posting reels can be time consuming, especially when I'm looking forward to maintain consistent posting on my Instagram account. And by creating this automation between Google Sheets, Creotomate and Instagram, now automatically the reels are going to be created using Creotomate and it is going to be posted on our Instagram account with the help of this automation. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us the email on support at the rate pabli .com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching.